Omicron, the latest variant of concern the WHO is tracking, has been detected uh, around the world. Um, it is efficiently transmitting, and in fact, everywhere where we have good sequencing, uh, this variant is being detected. What we are seeing is a very sharp increase in case numbers. Uh, you will have noticed in the latest uh, WHO update, almost 10 million cases reported in the last seven days. There's a number of reasons for this. Um, first is the mutations that it has. It, the virus is, is able to adhere to human cells more easily. It has mutations that allow it to do that. Second is that we have what is called immune escape. And this means that people can be reinfected. The other reason is that we are seeing uh, replication of Omicron in the upper respiratory tract. And that's different from Delta and other variants, including the ancestral strain, um, which uh, replicated in the lower respiratory tract in the lungs. And so these combination of factors allow the virus to spread more easily. With Omicron, uh, what we are learning is that your risk of getting severe disease from Omicron is less than it is for Delta. But the sheer volume of cases that we are seeing around the world is really astonishing. And even with a lower risk of hospitalization, we're still seeing a large number of people who need clinical care, who are hospitalized, and that will overburden the system. Um, what's really important right now is we do a couple of things. Number one, get vaccinated when it's your turn. Vaccinations are incredibly protective against severe disease and death, including against Omicron as well as Delta, where both of those variants are circulating. Um, and so we really need to make sure that those who are most vulnerable in all countries get vaccinated. Second is that we need to make sure that we have good systems in place to detect, so good testing systems, getting people into the clinical care pathway so that they can receive the care that they need. Um, and then we, everybody else has a responsibility as well to keep yourself safe. So adhere to measures that keep yourself safe. Wear a mask, keep yourself distanced, um, avoid large gatherings. And really, if you could postpone some of those gatherings, do so. It's really important right now that we minimize exposure so that we can minimize those case numbers so that they don't have that knock-on effect of having an, a burdening of the healthcare system as well as other sectors.